Okay, so while I don't think a smartphone compatible thing in Rust is particularly a step in the right direction, it is here to stay and therefore I'm going to try and do something with it. So today I'm going to show you how to set it up really quick, really easy. I'm going to show you this, the basic components you can use with it and maybe go over some things that you might be able to do with them. I'm also going to tell uh, you how to set it up with your server because it takes a little bit of configuration to do that. But for most people, it should be all right. So first we're going to head to your respective app store. So I've got the app store. Uh, Google Play is the other one that works. Windows Store does not work. And we're just going to search Rust Plus. And there it is. Should be the first one that shows up. Open that up. Or download it and then open it up. And when you start it up, you're going to get a prompt to sign in. So just sign in with your Steam, and then you'll get to this page here. And at this point, you're going to want to go onto Rust and continue from there. Okay, so once we're in the game, we're going to pair the Rust Plus app with our server. So we hit Escape, and we go Rust Plus, and that shouldn't be there. And we'll just click Pair with Server. And you'll see on my phone here, I've just got Pair Server on here. So we hit Pair Server. And there we go, that should work. And you can test it's working. Uh, you should be able to see the map. If it says something, if it infinitely loads and then says couldn't connect or server is offline, that means that the server has not got support for Rust Plus Companion app. Um, if you need to know how to do that for your own server, I'll leave a timestamp in the description for where I'm going to explain how to do that. So currently we've got two components, which honestly I believe is enough. Uh, we've got two components to be used with the system. So we've got a smart alarm, which has an input and an output. And we also have a switch, which is basically just a normal switch. In fact, I will show you here, where are they? Uh, it's basically just a normal switch, but with wireless capabilities. So to pair these together, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go over to them, pressing with, with the wire, to, wire tool out, sorry. Press and hold E. And we're going to select pair and it's going to sh show up on my phone and I'm going to call this switch um, patty switch and you can see if I grab this generator here and I'll also grab a flash of lights here and I'll put the output into there so you'll see as soon as I tap this on my phone it turns on I can turn it off again and then when I do it in game, it'll update on my phone too, just like that. So for the smart alarm, we need to do the same thing. Press and hold E and pair, show up on my phone. I'm gonna small call this um, H and we can pair that on there. And then we hit E again, we can change the message. So um, I'm gonna change mine to alert. A red spy is in the base. And now you can see it's inactive on my phone right here. If we connect some power to it, it's turned on and it's being triggered and it's coming through on my phone. If I had notifications turned on, it would also show up like on my lock screen or on my banner or whatever happens on Android phones. And you'll notice it also has a pass through so we can take it through here and turn it on so we can have we can control everything from our phone now. In fact, we can put it the other way. So if I take this output and put it into there, I can trigger the alarm myself on my phone. Completely pointless. So yeah, that's it for the in-game stuff. Um, so thanks, thanks for watching. If you need to stick around to see how to add the Rust Plus compatibility with your own server, then stay after this. But for everyone else, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. So as you can see from this page here, uh, I'll leave a link to this in the description for quick reference, but it's a pretty easy thing to do. Uh, you don't really need to change anything. You just need to port forward um, your the largest port you have. So it could be the Archon port or the game port plus 67 so it says here that if you haven't changed any ports that means it will be default 28082 
This does not work if you've changed your Archon port, which is, I believe, 28016, so just put it one higher, but there's no harm in just port forwarding both of these ports because who knows what the default might be. So port forward 28082 and 28083, and then you should just be able to go into the game, go hit escape, press Rust Plus, and it should be able to connect. If it can't from there, you can manually set your app port, and with this here, app.port, you can manually set that and change it to whatever you like, but make sure that it's more than 10,000, otherwise it will not work.